I learned that like it doesn't like if you can't just pick up a brush and just start like you want some you want it to mean something or like even if you want to have fun you will like still want like oh I'm having fun but maybe this means to something or like just emotionally connected to it because like you're like oh wow I did that I, I, I did that so would you like recommend like people your age to do a program like this and like would you like want the city to keep funding this program yeah I would like the city to keep funding this program because it gives like a good experience and like it, it like kind of gives like a feeling like if you want to become serious with this like how would it feel and how would you do and I would like recommend it to some people like some people that are actually serious about it Amida Roller. I am the executive director of Dane Arts Mural Arts and also one of the lead artists. Um, well, we're here to celebrate and dedicate the Thrive Mural. Good evening. Well, thank you for painting our building. We appreciate it very much. And it's really special to me to see this happen, not only on a county building, but on the north side. It's really great to see what's happened to Dama over the last number of years. When, where's Mark Frere? He was in the, Mark Frere, our director of, of Dane Arts, Dane County Cultural Affairs Commission. You know, we sat down and had a conversation about how we both wanted to bring art into the community. We felt that Cultural Affairs Commission did a lot of good work right now but that we wanted to go deeper and be more participatory and bring it to the neighborhoods and include everyone. And Dama grew out of that conversation and then spun off to be its own entity. And this is exactly what we envisioned. And I'm just so excited to see you taking this to, to the next level and involving the community in choosing where our art's gonna be, designing it and having it represent the community. And this piece, man, could talk about forever, right? I mean, it's there's so much there. It's really, it's really special. So I really want to thank, especially the young people who worked on this. Um, this belongs to you, you know. So every time you walk, drive, bike, run by this on your way to catch the school bus because you're late for school, <laughs> you can see, you can see what you did and what you contributed to the community. So thank you so much for that. We can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Thanks. Woo! One thing that Dama taught me was like not being afraid to put like paint on my canvas and just like letting go and creating instead of like trying to be perfect. And I'm just really happy because it taught me a lot about art, like blending colors and values. Yeah, I'm just really happy. The county and the city give us this opportunity to paint on this wall. Uh, thank you so much. This is exactly what we wanted to do in terms of building community. This is not so much about art. It's about the economic impact of the arts, the economic driver that the arts create in our community, the way that no fight is broken out yet, the way that people come together and enjoy and have fun and engage and laugh and become better students, become better parents, become better community members. That's what drives us to do the work we do. It's not so much about the art, although the end product itself is gorgeous. It's about community, it's about engagement, and it's about the two young persons who said, we got to know each other, we got to build community, we got to figure out how to answer questions to our, to our problems that we're trying to solve. We became more academic, we became better people, and that's what the arts do. confident now when I take out my paint and my canvas and my brush I just feel a little more like inspired <laughs> and I'm just really happy because like I really learned a lot 